So I've really been looking forward to getting the chance to check these out. The Hyper Megatech Super Pockets. These are from the creators of Evercade. I really like what Evercade does. They do a lot of cool stuff. Tons of cartridges, their handhelds, the system that they put out. Uh, this little brochure, they sent these to me for, for review. Came with this little brochure with a lot of information. Kind of like when uh, companies do that, but we're not going to go through the whole thing. It does have the specs here. Uh, high quality screen, 2.8 inch IPS screen at 320 by 240. So it's a little screen, front facing speakers, four plus hour battery life. But I figure let's just get into this. So this is more like they're getting into that impulse buy type of market with these handhelds. But these go beyond that, I think. I haven't touched them yet. I haven't used them, haven't opened it. Uh, but I, I do like the idea here. Like they're expandable, compatible with Evercade cartridges. So 500 plus Evercade games could work on this. They have preloaded games here. 12 classic uh, Capcom games and then 18 classic uh, Taito games. It says the, the full list there, but we'll look through everything. I know Mega Man has an asterisk next to it and it says down there, Mega Man's a home console version. So not all arcade games on this one. I think maybe they hey, let's add it, you know, have an even number. If we put 11 arcade games there, like, yeah, I don't know. But let's uh, let's start off with this one, the title one first. Let's see what to do here. Got some seals on the top and bottom. We'll just open it from the top. But, you know, I like this uh, packaging, this little foiling and everything. It always gets me with the foiling. I freaking love it. Hopefully these things, uh, ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't get it. Hopefully these things have a charge. Oh, win 10 Evercade cartridges. Sign up to our newsletter. Okay, well, there you go. If you want to win 10 Evercade cartridges, hypermegatech.com, win. Wow, this has a little weight to it. USB-C for charging. In the bottom there. So this is a this is a small little handheld, but let me let me pull out the uh analog pocket just for reference so there's the analog pocket and then the uh the evercade pocket or super pocket you know whatever you want to call it but there you go it's it's little all right not my favorite feeling d-pad but you know we got to get into a game right so back here you got this dummy cartridge that uh blocks the path for a real cartridge if you're not you know plugging in an evercade cart we'll try one in a moment got the l1 L2, R1, R2 on the back. That doesn't feel bad, actually. Menu button, select, start, and this should be power. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got like a full battery charge. So, uh, you're prompted to language, English. Choose your challenge. Looking to kick back and relax? This mode lowers the difficulty of built-in arcade games. Huh. Now we'll go to normal mode. Oh, you gotta you gotta accept the license here. I don't know if you reject it if the system will blow up. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wait, let's press menu. Oh wow, you see how that slides out? Like that's very cool. Oh, so is that where you would go? Okay, if you put a cartridge in. Let's see what kind of settings we have. Display, you got different uh, aspect ratios, and then some shaders. I know one of my favorites is on here. Here we go, Puzzle Bobble. The screen is very shiny, but the viewing angles are okay. I just have a lot of lights around me. Uh, the viewing angles seem fine. Like, the screen's not dimming and turning all gray. You know, at the slightest thing. It's just I got... It, it, it's shiny. Oh, man. The real test for the D-pad on this thing is going to be Street Fighter. Awesome. 
Okay, so we got save states, load. What is control? I don't think we can change controls. It just tells us our controls. And then you have access to your display options. So save states, load, and then just reset and display options. Yeah, I think I've seen this game before. I've just never played it. Oh. So here's the Capcom one next to the Taito one. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, that one's loading up. Get more games. They even have a QR code. They got to advertise in the cartridge. There we go. Let me uh, pop in the toe plan. See how the cartridge slot feels. It's not like crazy tight. It's nice and snug though. All right, menu, Evercade. Oh, cool. So it comes up with its own like new menu. One of one of my favorite games. Ah. Dang it. But okay, that's really cool. Using uh, other Evercade cartridges and the way the uh, the menu looks. That's awesome. Turn the volume all the way up on here. I don't know how well the sound is gonna capture on my mic, but that little front facing speaker sounds pretty good to me. All right, so this one we have the uh, 12 games. 11 arcade games, one home console game. Okay, so the D-pad does respond very well, but I don't hate the back shoulder buttons, but I don't love them either. Just something I have to get used to. Oh, he got me. But look at the screen. It looks pretty good, I think. Just doing some of them dragon punches and hadoukis. I keep what I'm what I'm getting mixed up on is this lip that's above the the shoulder buttons. I'm getting mixed up on that. Where I want to feel like it, it makes me want to think like the lip is the button, you know, but it's right below that lip. That's uh, something I got to get used to. It's a little final fight here. Everything's playing very well. Not noticing any like weird latency issues. I do like the D-pad, not my favorite D-pad of all time, but it gets the job done. It felt fine in Street Fighter, uh, feels fine here. The buttons serve a perp, you know, serve their purpose. They feel okay. Um, overall, the the build quality of this thing is very solid, very solid. Like there's some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or look cheap. Like a lot of those little impulse by handhelds that are out there. I think this thing is pretty sweet, and the ability to add games to it by using Evercade cartridges? I think that's freaking awesome. Like, is the screen a little too small? Not for me, but I'm, I mean, maybe if you're playing games like this with the, you know, smaller screen orientation there, that might be a, a little annoying for some people, but I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, it's kind of like my little first look. I'm digging this. I like what they're doing here. Um, being able to expand with more cartridges or just buy the, like I think this kind of thing makes like a cool little gift, especially for somebody you know who's into retro gaming, who loves some of this old stuff. It's reasonably priced, um, not breaking the bank. I think it's a cool little uh, gift idea for sure. I'm actually gonna wind up messing with this quite a bit more. I'm kind of under the weather right now. I'm going to go kick back and just mess around with this Capcom one for, for a bit. But I, I'm liking what they did. If uh, you're interested, these are releasing soon. 
I believe. I'll put links down below if you want to grab one. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.